It's no object. As long as I get what I'm after. Come on, will you? Ah, that is full, oh, not that hand, this one. Well, put this hand in your pocket. <laughs> Get your hand out of it. Oh. <laughs> oh, sometimes it's... Oh. Stanley, I just found out that map is worth more than $2,500, that woman. I can't get over it. All I did was go like this, no water came out. Are you listening? Come on. Come on. You went in the living room. Wait. I'm going to snoop around here and find out more about this deal. Go ahead. Who was at the door, Harry? Uh, Mr. Livington and Mr. Johnson. Good. Where are they? They're in the living room. I'll see them in a minute, and we'll have coffee in the library. Harry, I'm phoning Gunner to come over. Please leave the door open. Yes, ma'am. I didn't know anybody in the room. I'm awfully sorry. Say, hold it. Wait, what do you want? You know, you standing in front of this here picture reminds me of my last expedition in Africa. That's so. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. And it was my most dangerous expedition. We were after cats. Big cats. You know what cats are? Lines, I imagine. Oh, there's no imagine about it, my friend. Lines are lines. Here or any place, they're lines. You can't imagine they're lines. Oh, no, indeedy. I want to tell you something. My first afternoon out, I bagged 64 lines. Gad, what a hunt. Really? Oh, yes. And then I ran into an old friend of mine, Clyde Beatty. No. Yeah. And was he hurt? He didn't bag a line for two weeks. Really? <laughs> I bagged them all. He couldn't hit one of them. <laughs> of course, when it comes to handling lines, he don't know from nothing. I am the boy right over here. <laughs> I want to tell you something else, too, between you and I. Clyde Beatty is a phony. On the side, a pretty nice fella, but between you and I, a phony. <laughs> Something else I want to tell you, friend. Who do you think tames the lines that he has inside the cages? Me, Stanley Livington, the world's greatest hunter. No kidding. Yes, sir. Well, one of the greatest. <laughs> By the way, what's your name? Uh, Clyde Beatty. Clyde Beatty. Clyde, it's nice knowing you. I want you to stick around because I'm going to tell you how I used to go in myself and tame those lions. Now, when it comes to taming the animals, Clyde... Clyde! Clyde! Oh, good evening. I, I see you've met Mr. Livington, our big uh, wild game hunter, eh? Yes, indeed. Swell. He just didn't tell me about some of his exploits. Oh, swell, swell, that's fine. Uh, tell him about the time you and Clyde Beatty went tiger hunting in India. That's yes, the... I'd like to hear about it. Yeah, yes, yeah, so indeed. Why, he, uh, Stanley tells me that he outshot Beatty five to one. <laughs> uh, by the way, I don't think you've introduced me to this gentleman. Uh, Clyde Beatty, Clyde Beatty. Uh, Clyde Beatty. Uh, I'll be seeing you around. Uh, Mr. Beatty, I'm sorry for what I said about Mr. Beatty. Excuse me. Why, Mr. Johnson and Mr. Livington, please forgive me for keeping you waiting. You met Mr. Beatty? It seems Mr. Livington and I are hunting pals. Won't you gentlemen have some coffee? And after coffee, we'll have Mr. Livington draw the map. I'm terribly sorry. Mr. Livington will not be able to draw the map. But he's got to. The whole success of my trip depends on it. You mean you intend to take a trip to Africa? Very definitely. I'm planning a safari. I wonder if I may be excused. I know you folks would rather talk business in private. If you don't mind, I think it would be better. Mr. Beatty's hat, Harry. Excuse me, gentlemen. Good night, old friend. Quick, grapple and boots are outside waiting to slug Johnson and Livington. Tell them the plans are changed and to lay off. Yes, ma'am. Look, Buzz. Let me draw the map. We'll get the $2,500 and get out of here. Uh, certainly not. Now, if I play your cards right, we'll get more than $2,500. Uh, listen, you you heard her. She's organizing a safari. I wish I was there. Uh, where? On a Hoboken safari right, right now. Uh, 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 Stanley, you're um, you're absolutely right. Uh, as you surmised, to be frank with you, I don't blame you for having the desire. The desire to what? Uh, of course, I'll, I'll have to explain everything explain to the lady. Explain it to me. Uh... Uh, Mr. Livington insists on uh, journeying a safari to Africa. I insist? Yeah, there you are. You heard it from his own lips. 
Just 